Well, former President Donald Trump is back in a New York courtroom this morning for his hush money trial. And this all going on while the Supreme Court is set to hear arguments regarding the former president's immunity in an election interference case. Morgan Norwood has the latest from Manhattan. Pressure mounting in Donald Trump's criminal hush money trial as David Pecker, a former publisher for the National Enquirer and a crucial witness, returns to the witness stand for third day of questioning by prosecutors about the alleged hush money payment to porn actress Stormy Daniels. Former President Donald Trump shaking hands with supporters this morning and a surprise visit to a Manhattan construction site. He was asked about whether he's spoken to Pecker. David's been very nice, a nice guy. Trump facing a 34 count criminal indictment centered around a $130,000 hush money payment to Stormy Daniels by Trump's former lawyer, Michael Cohen, right before the 2016 election. Trump has denied any wrongdoing and he denies any sexual relationship with Daniels. He's pleaded not guilty to the charges. Prosecutors today questioning Pecker about how the Inquirer handled the accusations from Karen McDougal, who claimed she had a year-long sexual relationship with Trump. Pecker testifying Cohen instructed him to purchase her story, saying, according to Pecker, the boss will take care of it. Pecker took that to mean the publication would be reimbursed by Trump. Pecker testified that he served as the eyes and ears of the Trump campaign, changing the National Enquirer's business model from buying stories to publish to buying stories to bury them if they were damaging to Trump's presidential aspirations. Meanwhile, other members of Trump's legal team heads to the Supreme Court today to argue Trump's claim of presidential immunity. The former president complained about having to be in Manhattan for his criminal trial. I think that the Supreme Court has a very uh, important argument before today. I would have loved to have been there. Now, the judge is also expected to decide whether to hold Trump in contempt of court for violating the gag order in this hush money case. I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC News, New York.